what's up family i'm rachel and i'm joe and we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos if you're new to our channel welcome here on two crazy ketos we do different things like product reviews we do recipe videos sometimes we do vlogs like this we talk about various keto topics and then every monday we sit down on the couch for keto on the couch we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week you can find us on different social media platforms like facebook instagram and twitter and we have a website which is two crazy and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes now we do upload at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so today's video is going to be a little bit different it started out as a like what i eat in a day vlog mm -hmm. and then things kind of got hectic and one day rolled into another and it kind of turned into a video of shenanigans video of shenanigans so we went to the post office we went to bj's we went to sprouts and then we also included a little bit of what we ate in there so pardon the fact that throughout this video we're wearing a lot of different sets of clothes all kinds of things <laughs> so let's get into the video every morning she needs to run around and make noise she is loving her new toy she wants to show it off she's very proud of it it's new to her but it was actually in the bottom of the closet because they were like deep discounted so we bought a bunch of them and <laughs> look at her parading this around. She's like, look what I've got. Okay, Can what you are you doing? Have? I have a recipe video okay. that I'm doing this morning. Okay. Okay, sit down. She's like, I can't do it. I'm so excited. I have a recipe for making you cringe. Okay, what is that? It's called How Rachel Does a Zip Fizz. So first you gotta get your bottle opener. Wait, the Watch Autumn Keto Bottle Opener. Your Watch Autumn Keto Bottle Opener. That was like genius of her to like think about doing that. Totally genius. This this recipe she'll love too, right? This will make her cringe. So you then you put your Zip Fizz. I'm starting the day with a Limon Zip Fizz. This is my groove after fruit punch. After fruit punch, and we're out of fruit punch because we drank all those. Now we're down to Limon. Zip Fizz is on sale at Costco, and so I just ordered you some fruit punch, and I ordered me Limon. Stay off my Limon. That's my new grape. I love it. Nope, too bad. And I always like to do this in a mason jar. That's my favorite way to drink a Zip Fizz. And then you just stir it. No, we do not you stir, stir zip, fizz. zip Fizz. Look at this. You shake it. It even says on the tube, shake vigorously. Right, Autumn? Look at this magical blend happening. Hey, Rachel. Yes. Yeah, we've got mail. You want to go get the mail? Yes, I want to go get mail. Look at this lazy dog. Oh, yeah, my but, gracious. Uh, she owns this couch. She knows she's not supposed to be on it, too. Yeah, right. She's like, on oh, that couch every day. My bad. Tap it to sit. Sit. She's so excited. Sit. Sit. Wait till you see her Halloween costume. She has a buddy Look, costume. Look, Tabitha. Look what's right here. What is that? Are you going to try your new dog food? We're going to break out the Katona. Maybe we'll, maybe Bo will eat it. I think he will. We'll try it. So we also need to go to BJ's because we are out of toilet paper. Thank you. Yes. I was basically going to put a no poop rule for everyone. <laughs> Caleb came to me last night and he was like, uh, do you have any toilet paper? I'm like, there's none in the garage. He's like, no. I'm like, you people need to let me know when there's no toilet paper. He's like, I'll wait. I'm like, you can't wait. How long are you planning on holding I'm like, this? go run to Nanny's house and steal a roll of toilet paper. Nice. We yes. got a box from our good friend, Christy Davis. Christy Davis? I love her channel. Oh my gracious. If you guys have not subscribed to Christy Davis, you need to go subscribe. I'm going to leave a... Um, a link right over Rachel's head. Oh my god. I mean, I know a lot of you guys are already subscribed to her, but she's her entire awesome. family does keto. And Amazing. she's like us because she's all about like, what can we do for the family? We got to get everybody on keto. I love it. Her mom is on and, and actually her mom had uh, type 2 diabetes also, just like my mom and was able to get off medication. So that was it. That's a huge victory. There's a little card for you. There's a card. I got some pencil pouches or makeup pouches, I guess. This. Oh is. my goodness. Oh my gracious. So she recently did a Dollar Tree haul 
and I saw these little these little guys even in her in the thumbnail and I saw her present them and I was like oh my gosh it looks like me and Joe I have to get these so bad look at this even a purple background and I have not been able to find it at our Dollar Tree that's so awesome Man. I don't know where I came up with the purple background I was just like purple kind of goes good oh my gosh I love phone. it wow oh my goodness Christy this is so cute look at these little eggs I hope there's nothing in here I'm not supposed to see I love this decal sweet and strong oh my gosh this is awesome oh, wow Rachel's all about postcards oh my goodness I am this is beautiful <sighs> Oh my gracious, look at Those these. Those are awesome. And you can color them. I love this. Oh my goodness, Christy, thank you. There you go. Oh yes, oh my gosh, I need Ooh, this. I'm gonna paint Rachel's toes, so now wow. I got something to paint your toes with. Thank you. Oh my goodness, Christy, and there's a little card. Let's see, it says, bless your heart for being so nice. You're so nice, bless your heart. Be careful, you can read that. It says, Rachel just wanted to send you a little package full of goodies. Hope you have a wonderful day, hun. Love, Christy Davis. Christy Davis, you are awesome. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. This Thank means so, so much, much to me. Guys. Oh, my gosh. And this is totally going in my purse right now. Thank you. This is exciting. Let's go to BJ's so that we can wipe our butts. Yes, please. Hey, not for nothing, but we're in BJ's. And it's Beginning October 15th. To look a lot like Christmas. It's Christmas time. It's only the middle of October. There is only one thing that Joe is brand loyal over, and that is his toilet paper. I will only buy a Scott. You know why? Why? Because it's a thousand sheets and it lasts a lot longer. And the bottom line is it's only getting flushed down the toilet, so I don't need expensive stuff on my butt. You don't want like a comforter? No. Take me out to the ball What game. is wrong with you? <laughs> Look at this giant meat stick. You know what the problem with that giant thing of pepperoni? I would absolutely eat that entire thing in like a day. I would too. I was like, like what, what is that called? It's not pole vaulting. Is it pole vaulting? Javelin. Javelin. Here's something interesting in the monster energy section. It looks like it's kind of like a Zevia kind of thing. Yeah, it says it's healthy energy, no calories, no sugars, no carbs. It's $17 for a pack of 12. So that's about $3 cheaper than Zevia. Yeah. Zevia energy drinks, but I don't think I would like any one of those flavors. They do have all the monsters though. I actually want to try some of these flavors because this is like much cheaper than a uh, drink in the bangs. We're gonna have to try some monsters. I just can't commit to an entire case. That is a lot of them. Look at all of these different flavors. I don't. That one I think has sugar, but this one is zero sugar, and this one is zero sugar. For some reason, this one is zero sugar. We tried them at, when we were at um, KetoCon, the last, and I liked them. The last time I tried them, I thought they tasted like battery acid a little bit. So here's something that I see a lot of people drink: the sparkling ice. They're having a 24 pack for $15. That's like super cheap. So you get eight cranberry frost, eight lemon lime, and eight ginger lime. We've never tried them. I've never tried it. Let's try it. We're gonna spend $15 and try it even though we've never tried it? This is a lot of beverage. We cannot keep this stuff in the house. I think Anthony drinks it. I do. I think he's got a straw in the bottle. I told him he's gonna start paying for it because every time I turn around, like I can't find it. He uses the whole bottle in like one sitting. He's like that old lady that puts it on everything. <laughs> so they have giant boxes of table salt. I think that they need to bring in Redmond Real Salt and have their paint buckets of salt here. We actually have to order more. We're like halfway through that 10 pound bucket already. You're spilling all the salt oh, everywhere. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Clean up on aisle 32. Look, Rachel. It's junk food disguised as health food. Ooh. Organic peanut butter. I need this for a recipe. This is actually pretty clean. Five total carbohydrates, three grams of fiber. The only ingredients are peanuts and sea salt. And then you have Jif, made from peanuts and sugar. Oh, Rachel, I don't know what you're gonna do, but we're almost out of root beer Zevia. You're gonna have to go to all these other flavors. No. -uh. 
Oh. Yeah, because there's only two six packs left, and a half of those are mine. No. Yes. I need root beer. No, you're gonna have to drink cola. No. Do you hear Anthony practicing? I do hear him. He sounds really good. He's getting ready for Wednesday. What are you getting ready for here? I am working on our review video from the Killer Creamery, the, that new salted camel flavor. Interesting. I want to say the word I would describe it is interesting. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was just a very interesting flavor. You know, it kind of reminded me of when we used to make Vitamix ice cream and stuff and add broccoli and things like that to it. <laughs> so. Trying to hide the good stuff from the kids. So... Isn't this monitor awesome? Look at this. It's like the length of a cruise ship. Actually, sometimes I'm still turning on my third monitor and then I'm having like basically four monitors. Oh going, my but, gracious. You know, like that's only if I'm really getting into something, but this is why I like this monitor because like working on a video, I have this entire timeline going. It's mission control. But it's nice because I can have this and then I can have like my color correcting on the side or I can like break it down into three windows or two windows, so. It's, it's actually really helpful. Cool. It's super helpful. It's definitely making things because before I'd have to have like window on top of window and it would be like this much smaller window. Like I'd have like, that's what it would look like. <laughs> and obviously now with the way I have it, as you can see everything just by like expanding it, look at how much more I get to see what's going on. Oh my gracious. So, are you ready to go to do this podcast? I'm like so excited. I I can't believe this. And I've got a little bit of like armpit sweat and like diarrhea. You know how like you get excited and yeah, like I'm too excited, I think. So we are going to head to Sprouts because believe it or not, we have no eggs left in our house. And I looked online last night to say who's got eggs on sale and they have pasture raised eggs. Buy one, get one free. So we're headed to Sprouts. So it's probably gonna be super embarrassing going around inside of Sprouts with me because I'm wearing like pajama shoes, like house shoes, but like slippers for going to bed. Why? Because I about took off the back of my heel trying to walk out the door this weekend. And like, yeah, so my butt is healing, but my foot now is gone and it really hurts putting on shoes. So long as you're not wearing Crocs. No, I probably should have Crocs. If I had Crocs, at least they would be actual plastic shoes and not furry shoes like these shoes, but it is what it is. I don't know, everybody says Crocs are like super comfortable, but they just look ridiculous and I crack up every time I see that picture of like, if you keep wearing Crocs, your foot's gonna turn into this. I mean, isn't that picture ridiculous? Do you think that could actually happen? Yeah, Anthony just bought a pair of Crocs and I just keep making fun of him for him because he was always like, Crocs are silly looking. You know, but you get a girlfriend and all of a sudden everything that they say makes sense. We're going into Sprouts. Yep, she's actually wearing house slippers to go food shopping in Sprouts. At least I have a bra on. So we're here in Sprouts and this really intrigued me. Look at this, organic Sprout bar, pumpkin seed bar, just five ingredients. The only problem is I turned it over to look at the nutritional label and it says it has 18 total carbs per bar, 250 calories. But look at this, zero grams of dietary fiber and the ingredients are sprouted pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, dates, raw agave nectar. So what I don't understand is how is there no fiber in this when it's got flax seeds in it? Now this product is more like it, sprouted organic flax snacks, which is gonna be kind of similar to my one ingredient flax crackers, but look at a spicy fiesta. Look at the ingredients here. Sprouted flax seeds, sprouted sunflower seeds, lime juice, sprouted sesame seeds, cilantro, sea salt, garlic powder, spices, and jalapeno. Seven total carbohydrates per serving, five grams of dietary fiber, and there's three servings in this bag. We are gonna try this. This is the kind of stuff that just really upsets me. Chicken chips, sounds good, fried chips. Then I look at the ingredients. First of all, it's got 10 grams of carbohydrates and no grams of fiber. It's chicken chips and tapioca flour expelled across high oleic sunflower oil. Absolutely not. And then can somebody please explain to me this? Pig out pigless bacon chips. Why do I want pigless bacon chips? Especially at 15 grams of carbohydrates per serving. Okay. We're done in Sprouts. We tried to film some things in there, but there was like somebody in every single aisle. Yeah, and they were like demoing like Laura bars everywhere. And we used to eat those 
I used to love Laura Bars pre-keto. I didn't think they were that tasty, but it was kind of like, that was health food. Yeah. So let's go over what we got. So I got some of this Topo Chico. Topo Chico. I know everybody keeps talking about how like great it is. And so it was on sale. It was like $3 for the four bottles. It's like, I guess, a Mexican like mineral water. I like that. And this is a natural uh, grapefruit flavor. It says twist of grapefruit. Unfortunately, like, I don't have a bottle opener with me. We need one of Autumn's bottle openers. Oh yeah, I don't know why we don't carry one with us. We'll have to try that later. Then we've got Go Raw Organic Flax Snacks. Yeah, so I, I did a little shot of this inside because I saw those coconut, those uh, pumpkin seed bars. Yeah. I was like, oh, great. And again, I was like, how does something have flaxseed as the second ingredient and it has no fiber? Then you look at this. Something's not right. And the flaxseed, it says there's five grams of fiber. So something's not right. So we got two flavors. Spicy Fiesta. And Zesty Pizza. And Zesty Pizza. I'm more thinking about trying to duplicate this than anything. Um, it's getting hot in the car because we have the air conditioning off. Next up, I got some loose tea. Oh, yeah, because we used to go to, what was that, Tibana all the time. And now they don't, that's not a thing. Yeah, and I had bought Rachel, like, some nice teapots and everything like that. I'm going to turn the air conditioning on. So it may get a little loud with the wind. I'm sorry, but it's hot it's down here. It's pretty I know, and I have a sweatshirt on because I'm freezing in the store <laughs> and then I'm boiling in the car. So we'll turn it up a little bit. So we got some pepperoni. This is from Natural Originals, Dietz and Watson. Yeah, I want to make a pizza. So I was like, I definitely want some pepperoni and I didn't want like the little dollar bag of garbage from like Aldi's or something like that. That doesn't hurt my feelings. Then we got some Brazil nuts because they were five dollars off yeah. a, pa a pound. Eight dollars a pound for Brazil nuts, so I bought like three quarters of a pound. I'm just gonna have to be careful because I can easily eat this entire bag in a sitting. Me too. And I think a quarter of a cup of Brazil nuts has like 250 calories in it. Something else that I could eat in one sitting would be this package of pastrami. Yeah, I'm in the mood for like a Rachel sandwich. Yay! So we're gonna do like chaffles with some caraway seeds or something in there. And then, you know, like some of our uh, sauerkraut with pastrami. Yes. I forgot Swiss cheese though. Well, there's all these across the street, so we yeah, can stop we'll just there. do it without Swiss cheese. Man, you gotta have the Swiss cheese. All right, so then we've got some bacon jalapeno cowboy burgers. Yep. What was the deal on those? There was no deal. I just really like them. Five ninety nine a pound. And then. Ugh. We got some uncured applewood smoked bacon. Yeah, their bacon is really good. It wasn't on sale. It was like $8 a pound, but it's really good. I don't know if it's Lucky's good. Their paleo bacon is pretty No, I really good. like this stuff. Then we got like... This was the deal of the day. A lot of asparagus. So they had the asparagus was on sale, four pounds for $5. And this asparagus has been working out. But you had to buy four pounds, but one pound was $3.99. So it's buy one pound for $3.99 or buy four pounds for $5. So we will be eating asparagus for the next couple days. That's which fancy. I can't complain. Yeah, that's fancy but for us. But look at the size of this asparagus. They're like roided out. Usually they're like half the size of a pencil and these things, are like twice the size of a Sharpie magic marker. I know. They're like huge. So yeah, we got four bushels of Don't each Don't be bushel. a little girly man. We can have like a fight. <laughs> so that's what we got at Sprouts. We're going to go home. I think, is that everything we got? Whoa. Wait. I oh, we did get something else. We got oh. some... Yeah. Ketchup. So we didn't... I'm not... This ketchup's not bad. I got it really for the kids. Because there was a coupon for two dollars and fifty cents, it was five dollars and ninety nine cents, marked down to three dollars and forty nine cents, and they keep eating all of our good ketchup, which I can't complain because at least, at least they're, they're, eating they're not eating ketchup. like the sugared Heinz and that kind of stuff. Right. But like they're eating all my Alterna Sweets ketchup, which is nine dollars or ten dollars a bottle, and Anthony uses like a half a bottle on a burger. Yeah. And every time I go to get ketchup, there's no ketchup. No more for you. So this stuff, I thought it was interesting. So the ingredients in this is tomato puree, which is water and tomato paste. Then it has apple vegetable puree, which is carrot, 
butternut squash, and spinach. And then they have vinegar, salt, onion powder, and allspice. So nothing bad. No, so it's one tablespoon as a serving size, 10 calories, three total carbohydrates, two grams of sugars, which is coming from the fruits and stuff. So it's not bad, but I bought it because it was a dollar. That's because, you know, mark the 350, 250 coupon. So here you go, Anthony. I like that you can still coupon on keto. Yeah, so I'll try it, but. Then I got this little cup of sunshine, basically because I was like, I like the title. <laughs> says it promotes a good mood. It's kind of like you, a I cup like of it. sunshine. Uh, thank you. You are what you drink. Um, and then we got like a crap ton of eggs. Yeah, we got eight dozen eggs. They were buy one, get one free. They're medium size, which I was kind of bummed about that. But hey, $5.99 for the large size or $4.99 buy one, get one free for the medium size. We're going medium. We're going to go medium and just when I need three eggs, I'll eat four. And I had like such a save in that shopping cart. I actually went to go pick up one of these and the whole thing turned over and dumped out and there was eggs all in the basket and not one of them broke. Nice. Non-scale victory. Well, we're going to go home and cook because we haven't eaten. We were like so nervous about doing a Keto Connect podcast. Like... We didn't get a chance to eat yet. I was all sweaty and like, yeah, scared, but excited. So Tabitha really wants Roscoe's catnip toy, even though Roscoe actually stole it from charity. So I am not gonna lie, that is a pretty beautiful sight right there. Those cowboy burgers are so colorful. Yeah. I was dying to get into Rachel. Here is your lunch. Thank you. Time to relax in bed. Yes. So that is a is cowboy burger, three, two pieces, three pieces of asparagus from Sprouts. And a, a mutant piece of asparagus. Yeah, a couple eggs, mayonnaise, and some bacon. And a happy Rachel. This thing is awesome. It's an experiment. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. It's like pizza pull-aparts. Wow. Crazy good. I know you're in bed. It's like 8.30 at night. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're interested after we're done eating, but I can take it out the frost. Look what I found in Publix. Oh, wow, another Rebel. But you can't have it unless we get up and do a review video of it. But you'll get an entire double serving of it. I'm in. Well, sorry about the multi-day, what was supposed to be full day of eating. That turned into two days of nonsense. We had a good time with it though. We got to go to BJ's. We've been playing around with my new monitor. We had Bo as a visitor. Yes. And we did eat other stuff. We've been working on a pizza pull apart. It's so good, but we just wanted to eat it. Yeah, we, didn't we weren't feel ready like to filming. film it. So I promise next week we'll get back into our standard full day of eating vlog. Yepers. So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a video of shenanigans, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.